Okay, my littlest dancers, it's Miss Kelly, and here I am in our studio. And since you guys can't come here and dance today or this week, we're going to have class over your computer or your TV screen. And you guys can watch class and do it along with me, okay? And I'm going to ask you guys for help to remember some things as we go along the way. So you can get your mom or your dad or your brothers or your sisters, whoever in your house, and y'all find a spot maybe in your living room where you can dance and you can teach them while we do it together, okay? All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do just like we do in class. You know how we sit in a circle? Well, you can sit in a circle with your family and I'm gonna sit here because it's just me. I won't have a circle, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm in your circle at home, okay? And we're gonna do our feet stretches and our leg stretches and our body stretches all while we're down on the floor just like we start class all the time. So I'm gonna put the music on now. Okay, sit in your circle. Sit up tall, hands on your knees. We're gonna put our feet up. We're gonna pretend our feet are books. You're gonna open your books and we're gonna catch a butterfly. Did you catch one? Awesome. Again, open your books. And you can catch whatever you want. What are you going to catch? One more time. Open your books. Catch a caterpillar. Okay. Open your books. This time we're going to keep them open. We're going to point our toes so they're working really hard. We're going to put our hands on the floor behind us. We're going to do our leg lifts nice and slow to warm up our leg muscles. We're going to lift up and down. Keep your legs really straight. Your toes down and up. You go as high as you can. If you can try and touch your nose with your leg, that's awesome. One more time. Each leg and other leg. Last time, we're going to sit up tall. We're going to put our hands back on our knees. We're going to walk our hands down our legs to our feet. When you get to your feet, you can try and touch your nose to your knees. If you can't, that's okay. Just go as far as you can so you're stretching your body and getting it ready to dance, okay? One more time to come up. Hands on your legs. Walk them down your legs to your feet and nose to your knees. And we come up and we're going to open our legs far apart. And we're going to do our stretches side to side. So arms over our head. We're going to reach way over and try to touch our toes. And then we come up. We go the other side, way over to our toes. And we come up, hands on the floor, walk up to the middle of your circle, as far as you can go. And when you can't go anymore, try to touch your elbows and try and touch your nose to the floor. And we're going to come up and we're going to do that one more time. Both arms up, reach over for your toes, keeping your knees straight and your toes as pointed as you can the whole time. And come up, hands on the floor, you're going to walk them to the middle. Elbows down, noses down, and we come up. Good job. Now we're going to do our butterfly stretches. Somebody in your house can be the butterfly catcher, or you can decide when the butterfly catcher is coming, okay? Hold your feet together, and we're going to fly really slow. Wings up, wings down, keeping your back nice and tall. Way up, way down. When you think the butterfly catcher Coming. You gotta go faster and try and fly away. Try and fly away. If it gets too close, what do we do? That's right, we hide. Nose to your toes. Be really quiet so we can't catch you. We can't find you. You think he's gone? All right, let's do it one more time. Fly slow, wings up and wings down. And wings up and wings down. Let's go a little bit faster. Faster. All right, let's go. He's coming. I think I see the butterfly catcher. Is he coming? Okay, let's hide. Nose down to your toes. Be really quiet so we can't find us. Okay, we're going to come up. Now I want everybody to lay on your tummies. I'm not going to do this because of my back, but you're going to lay on your tummies. You're going to push up on your hands. You're going to bend your knees and try to touch your feet to your head. As high as you can. And let, let's see if we can get their feet all the way to their head. I wonder if your dad can get his feet to his head. Let's see. Okay, when you finish, let's stand up. And we're going to do some of our ballet position and ballet stretches. And I'm sorry, not stretches, exercises that we do in the circle. Okay, so.
So the first thing we're going to do is going to be our arms and our feet positions. So let's put our feet in first position. Those are our heels together and our toes to the corners. Everybody has first position. You're going to slide one foot out, point it really hard, and put it down. So it's as far, both feet are as far apart as your body, right? So that would be second position. You guys are good. Point your foot hard, put your heel in the middle of your other foot. What position is that? That's third position. That's right. So let's go over them again. And we'll use our other foot this time. Heels together. We're in first position. Point it, put it down. We're in second position. Point it, heel to the middle of your other shoe, and we're in third position. You guys are great. Let's put our feet in first, and now we're going to do our arm positions. We start down here. We're going to pretend we're holding a giant, big old balloon, okay? And this is called preparation, right? It's where we get ready. Remember, your thumbs are tucked in and your fingers are long. We pick them up in front of our belly button, first position. Open big so our balloon is big and gigantic to second. We reach and we hold our balloon over our head. That's third position. And we let our balloon go and we catch it on the bottom. Let's try that again. First position in front of your belly button. Second position, big old wide circle. Arms up over your head to third. Let your balloon go and you're going to catch it when it comes down. Excellent job. Okay, do y'all remember our next step? It's where we slide our foot and point it on the floor. We pretend it's a mouse coming out of its hole and it sees a big cat and it slides back in, right? Okay, let's try. Heels together, slide front. You see that big old cat and go back into your hole. Slide and pull back. Two more, out and come in and out and come in. Other foot, slide out, close first, and out, first position, slide out, first position, last time, out, first position. Now we're going to do PKs. Remember, PKs is where we pretend the floor is hot, right? So you have to pick up your toe really fast. Here we go. We're going to count to eight. PK up, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, close, eight. Let me start the music and we can do our other foot too. Okay, ready? Other foot. I'm going to wait for the music now because I missed the one. So we're going to do seven PKs, close on eight. Brush. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, close, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, close, eight. Other foot, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, close, eight. Excellent job. Now we're going to do tandu. You know what? I skipped our pleas. we got to back up for a second. We're going to do plies and releves and big old jumps. Let me get our music. All right, same music. Plie, straighten, releve, down. Three times. Plie, straighten, releve, down. One more. Plie, straighten, releve, down. Plie, jump. Then we're going to go to second position, same thing. Plie, straighten, up and down. Plie, straighten, up and down. One more time. And up and down. Plie, jump. Back to first position. You can do it again. Plie, straight, releve, down. Plie, straight, releve. Releve down, plie, jump. Okay, our next step we're going to do is our circles on the floor. Y'all remember those? They're called rond de jambes. We're going to draw a circle on the floor, and then we're going to do our airplanes balances, which is our arabesque, right? All right, let's try that. Ready? First 
reverse position. We go front, side, back, first position. Front, side, back, first position. One more. Front, side, back. Lift it off the floor for your airplane and hold it. Try to hold your balance. Try not to wiggle, right? One piece, other foot. We go front, side, back, first position. Front, side, back, first position. One more. Front, side, back. We lift it up. Airplanes hold balance and we close. Good. Now we're going to do our balances on one foot. Hold your foot up and balance like the flamingos do at the zoo, right? When that leg gets tired, you're going to change and you can pick the other leg up and hold until that leg gets tired. And then you're going to put it down and we're going to do hops on one foot. Let me change the music. Very good. 
Now we're going to do our chasses, where one foot chases the other. So you can have one person stand over to that side and one person stand on this side. And you're going to chasse all the way across and you're going to give them five. And you're going to chasse back and give whoever's over there five. It can even be your dog or cat or your stuffed animal, somebody like that. Okay, let's see.